653, time for the morning sprint. Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky set to address U.S. Congress via video this morning. He's expected to call for more fighter jets and a no-fly zone over Ukraine to counter the Russian air assault. The Biden administration has said a no-fly zone could escalate conflicts with Russia. Next week, President Biden travels to Brussels to meet with NATO allies on the topic. Fox News journalist Pierre Zakshevsky killed while reporting in Ukraine. The network said the veteran war photojournalist was killed outside of Kyiv when his vehicle was hit by incoming fire. Correspondent Benjamin Hall was with him. He remains hospitalized this morning. A Ukrainian official says that a Ukrainian journalist was also killed in the incident. State consumer officials are monitoring all poultry farms within a 10-mile radius of Jefferson County this morning where the bird flu has been found. Any chickens within that radius can't take part in shows, exhibitions, or swap meets through the end of May. This marks the first influenza case in a commercial poultry flock since 2015. Scary scene here on the west side yesterday. A bad car crash on Raymond Road happened around 515 near the intersection section on Gilbert. One person was taken to the hospital with injuries. Not sure just how bad they were hurt, though. Fire officials said that person was the only one in the vehicle at the time. The WIAA calling on schools to stop appealing officials' decisions to the court system. In a statement, WIAA's executive director said appealing decisions made by on-site officials undermines the rules agreed upon by member schools. The statement comes after an incident during the boys' basketball tournament when St. Thomas More High School in Milwaukee appealed the decision that had expelled them from the tournament. Police say a 14-year-old has been cited for driving under the influence. It happened after a two-car crash Monday that resulted in multiple people being hospitalized. Police said the 14-year-old was behind the wheel, a 16-year-old was in the passenger seat in front, and then two adult women ages 27 and 38 were in the back seat. You can find more about this up on channel3000.com this morning. Today, the Federal Reserve expected to announce its first interest rate hike since 2018. At the conclusion of its two-day policy meeting, Chairman Jerome Powell will likely forecast the central bank's plans for the rest of the year. That could include a half dozen more rate hikes. Those could lead to higher borrowing costs for credit cards, auto loans, and mortgages. So, March 16th is the day that we typically hit 60 for the first time, and we have the chance to do that today. We're starting things out with a beautiful sunrise. We're at the low 30s right now. 33 is where our temperature stands, but we should add about 32 degrees to that temperature into the afternoon. Sunshine, 57 by lunch. We'll top out at 65 this afternoon, even dinner time. We're going to see a lot of those temperatures hanging out into the 60s. I want to encourage you to enjoy that. Snow is on the way. Could be accumulating snow. We're going to track that throughout the rest of this week. Chris Reese, we appreciate you. Thank you. What a gorgeous sunrise, folks, on your Wednesday. Take that in. We'll be back in half an hour with another local news and weather update.